we are here to do a emergency podcast. This is <laughs> breaking news. Yeah. Breaking news. This is very exciting. We we have never done one of these, but we just had to do it. It was a necessity, you guys. <laughs> I'll start. Yes. So this past Sunday, the Ion Network premiered possibly the perfect Christmas movie. It was called Snowman's, and it changed my life. <laughs> yes, it was really good, and we just liked it both so much, so equally much, that we had to talk about it. And we were going to do a podcast, pre like previewing all of the other films and stuff, but we just ran out of time. But uh, we are going to try to do some kind of like summary, whatever, at the end of the end of the this December, do a bonus. Uh, other network podcast, but uh, with this one we just liked so much that we wanted to tell you all about it so that you make sure you go, uh, so that you make sure that you go and, and watch it. Okay, and I just have to preface this by saying, yes, this is literally my dream movie because last year on November 29th, I wrote in my phone a synopsis of a Hallmark movie that I wanted to get made about a girl who builds a snowman that comes to life and helps her figure out that she's actually supposed to be with her best friend. Right. And um, this is that exact movie, you guys. Yeah, my, literally, my Hallmark dreams came true <laughs> on the Ion Network. Yeah, they, they were just in touch with, with you. Who this, knew? this movie was made for me. <laughs> yeah. If the person who wrote this was on Twitter, I couldn't find them. If they had been on Twitter, I would have probably, like, literally become their best friend. Yeah. And so let's talk about it a little bit. I really enjoyed it, too. It was very charming. And uh, it, it basically tells the story, like you were saying, of this little girl. It will start out as a little girl named Sarah, who is... Uh, very like whimsical and believes in true love and she sees this example of her parents just being so in love and that's what she wants she builds a snowbow every year and usually it's it's with her best friend named nick always yeah. with her best friend nick Which aka was cute. literally the perfect man yes i mean <laughs> this movie okay <laughs> we open with Sarah as a tiny baby building a snowman by her, like, you know, establishing shop, yeah, building yeah. a snowman by herself. Um, and she's like, Oh, Dean Papadopoulos, blah, blah, blah. And she like goes to kiss it. And then boom, Dean Papadopoulos shows up and he's like a total jerk. And it was amazing. The girl had butterfly clips in her hair. I mean, it was you guys. really cute. Very cute. She yeah. had butterfly clips in her hair. That is the epitome <laughs> of what I wish I could still have. Because butterfly clips were everything to me as a child. Oh, cute. Yeah, anyway. and it, it wasn't in that, like, sepia tone that so many of the, the, like, flashback scenes and a lot of these movies are in. It was just, like, it was just really cute. <laughs> okay, and you're like, that's great. And then her friend comes so nice obviously already in love with her because he's like don't worry let's build you a snowman right now love of my life <laughs> and you think that's so great i'm so excited let's get to the real time and then nope they give you bonus flashbacks you get a montage through their life together what and i was like five minutes into this movie this is already the best movie i've ever seen yeah it was really cute it really worked and her dad uh, was was good and uh, so and then we zoom up to adult Sarah and adult yes. Nick and she she's just broken up with a boyfriend and she makes this like Christmas wish that she will get uh, she will find love by Christmas yep yes and obviously we all know that Nick is like hopelessly in love with Sarah Obviously. Obviously. And so, okay, I gotta go back. Um, this movie is amazing in every single way. And Nick <laughs> does the best job of doing, like, these asides and things. Like, the lit wistful, like, look at her after. 
but he just nails it. He does such a good job of being like, yeah. oh yeah, I'm your best friend. Wah, wah. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, because she's totally oblivious to his interest in her. And uh, she works uh, for a magazine. Uh, and, she, yeah, something. Yeah. So she she's a, she's never like been she never wanted to fly. She's never been like super adventurous. But she But she uh, wants a man who's been adventurous. I don't know. She's she's confused. Yeah, she's obviously. a little confused. <laughs> but anyway, so at work, she gets put on this assignment to like profile Milwaukee. And I loved her friend at work was hilarious with all the elk jerky and everything. That was so funny. I thought. Like her redneck friend. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, her fr- best friend at work, Isabel, yeah. um, played by Lauren Cochrane. Cochrane. Um, apparently she, she she's part of like a comedy troupe or something. Okay. Um, but she is my favorite person on earth. Yeah, she was um, really fun. I, I followed her on Twitter immediately. <laughs> it's amazing. Like all of the characters are amazing. Yeah. Her boss was amazing. Herb, yeah. like her uncle, her dad's friend, the guy that was in the shop with her dad. He was so sweet. Oh, I loved Herb. Her dad was like completely yeah. reasonable. He was yeah. like, I'm not trying to get into your business, but I care about you. And it was so good. And then, yeah. piece de resistance. <laughs> Suddenly, boom, snowman's alive. And the snowman is portrayed by my main man, Jesse Hutch, who yes. is just amazing in everything. I mean, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like we, I realized watching this movie, I'm like, I've liked him in every movie I've seen of his. I mean, I let it snow. I like, I think that's fun. I like, uh, I like Harvest Moon a lot. I own it. I liked it so much. And I like this. So, and I would buy this. And so he's a charmer. And I thought that he was so good at like the physical comedy, sort of the, he made me laugh a lot in this. He was very funny. I mean, not even, okay, and not even just the physical comedy. There was so many funny lines yeah. in this movie. And just, that he just nailed. Yeah. Um, and, okay, <laughs> there's a thing in this show where he just keeps calling Nick little guy. It is the funniest <laughs> thing to me. I, every single time Jesse Hutch was like, it's okay, little guy. I <laughs> died i you guys i was okay there's a scene where they're by a campfire oh my gosh that was so funny that scene he's like it's <laughs> and it's so hot and he yeah. takes off his shirt and then it goes to commercial break and i was watching this with my mother and no joke she was laughing at <laughs> that laughing part too. for three minutes <laughs> I filmed the last, like, minute of it, unbeknownst to her. She'll find out right now. So yeah. I can just watch it later. It, she was hysterical. It was, it was really funny. That's the why. movie was so funny. Yeah. And, like, not only was it funny, but it was, like, super sweet. And there was a yeah. scene where Nick is talking to her about what love really is. And I honestly started to cry because it was the most like perfectly well-written explanation of what love was. And he was like, you know, it's not settling. It's not giving up. And yeah. it was amazing. You guys. Well, and also that it's like someone who's always there for you and that it's not just, she's like obsessed with the spark idea. And I, I really liked her dad too. When he, he was like, you know, that was really amazing. That like first year or even like, honey, I can't remember, but anyway, the first said, part. Yeah. yeah. That was, we were so like romantic but then after that, it was when I really fell in love with her and after the romance. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah, um, it was amazing. So this movie was perfect for me. Um, I have loved it more than any movie on the Hallmark Channel. Um, I, w- I don't know if I'm just like, it's so close, so I don't have a clear perspective. I think I may like it more than the Nine Lives of Christmas. Whoa. I know. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still would say for me, it's still like a third place, but I, that's high praise because I gave both of the, my one and two perfect scores uh, of this season, whatever. And uh, so it, it's very high. I really liked it. It was, it was just so funny and so pleasant and, and uh, there were no, like, grown-worthy elements. Like, it, there wasn't a moment where it was like, how could you lie to me? Or, like, any of that kind of nonsense. <laughs> yeah, and 
And there are things that I know that I missed because I was laughing, like lines that I will go back yeah. and hear when I was when I laugh less, but still am I, amused. Or I will pick up new lines. Yeah. Well, I've only seen it once, but but I liked it. I kind of reminded me just a little bit of the movie Elf in the sense that you have this sort of innocent character who's just sort of experiencing all these things and doesn't realize that like he's you know different like the when he brings the when he brings the uh, uh kelter fish to the oh, office that was yeah. so funny the lud the ludifus ludifus yeah sorry ludifus that was so funny and then, like it's the best norwegian food in town it was so funny <laughs> which for that minneapolis be... saint oh, paul or wherever it was that's that probably is like saying something but uh where this was supposedly set but he was he was just very innocent in that way like everything that was just sort of weird and strange to other people. He was just like, do do do. <laughs> yeah, it was, you guys, I don't know how to tell it. I know it airs again on ION on December 9th. Um, so yeah. watch it. I'm serious. I don't care what's on the Hallmark channel. This is better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the whole, like, did you buy that Sarah would believe all of this stuff coming from Cole? about him being this adventurer but it's yeah all i mean sort of fuzzy on the details obviously if there is something that you want to believe then you'll believe it mm -hmm. so I, I mean i was totally fine with that and i loved i loved nick's reaction to everything <laughs> everything was everyone reacted in a way that i believed yeah. and i felt like all of their motivations were good I mean, the part where you're like, well, why didn't he ever say anything before? And you find out, oh, they dated for a week in high school. So, I mean, they tried it and he's like, dragon failed. Oh. But I mean, it was so great. I loved everything. Well, and the Nick only is... things that could have made this movie better for me is if there had been a flashback to the epic thing that happened in oh, the auditorium the when they were in high school. You know, I love me some of those. I mean, they had kids playing them high school aged. And, or if there had been an epilogue where it had Jesse Hutch dressed up in like a beard and glasses performing their wedding. <laughs> being like, and they could be like, thanks, Parson Brown. Because, you know, Parson right. Brown and Mary's oh, the guys. Very clever. So they did a snowman's too. Uh, is is Cole like? Is he gone or is he like still like snowman in other places or something like that? You know, I'm not sure, but they should a hundred percent do snowman's too, and they can either do snowman's too, where it's Jesse Hutch just back to help somebody else fall in love, and he can be basically like Mrs. Miracle from the yeah. Ion Network. Or they could do Snowman's 2 where it's some other guy being Hank, the snowman, who got his head pushed off. Yeah. <laughs> I'd watch either of those. I, it I mean, I would watch either of them. You're right. Or if it was somehow a Snowman's 2, but in this one, he helps somebody else find love. And then also somebody had made like a snow lady and Jesse Hedge gets his uh, snow lady. Can yeah. get the... Um, the what's it, the uh, the snowman from a uh, from mistletoe inn <laughs> mr and mrs but yeah the uh it was just it was just really sweet i i i thought that um yeah i mean i don't know what else i could make it better i i mean i really like that whole sort of the best friend i actually i think i prefer a lot of times sort of the loyal best friend over the going back to your high school boyfriend kind of a thing, mm -hmm. which is, he's of, and this was just done so well. I really liked Adam Hurtick as Nick. I thought he yeah. was good. He was. Um, I don't, I've never seen him in anything before. Um, yeah. Apparently he was in like a couple episodes or an episode of Supernatural. So like he uh. somewhat looked familiar, but not enough that I would know who he was. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't. Um, and it looks like he was, he's been some extras in some other like Hallmark or made for TV movies. Oh, okay. Cause some of these, you're just like this kind of story where there's the other guy, you're just like, come on girl like this guy's drop dead gorgeous like he's perfect what is wrong with you why don't you see it 
but like he was like a normal he, normal guy like he, he had was, an everyday man kind of quality to him he I was thought. perfect he was very charming. you guys um <laughs> anyway so i loved it everything about it's amazing you guys need to watch it yes so yeah i mean we both basically give it perfect scores we both really enjoyed it i i don't really have any any i mean the movie it. was so good it necessitated an emergency <laughs> podcast <laughs> yes so there you go uh definitely you said it's playing on the ninth yeah december 9th so definitely definitely get this on your dvrs right away because you'll really like it and okay on my dvr i don't know what i missed but my movie had not ended when it was done so oh. i mean it was probably didn't wasn't anything it was probably just them like kissing and then panning out but oh. so maybe set it to record like an extra minute a little minute a little bit longer and uh yeah we'll have to let jesse know particularly that he was so oh. funny i oh. just he yeah. commented on my personal twitter thread oh, he this, <laughs> and he said that it was the best thing he'd read all day or something and i was like well it was the best movie i've seen in my life yeah so good job jesse we're a fan so all right well uh, so we- yeah so basically if this were a hallmark movie i'd give it five crowns but it's not so it's on ion networks so five like ions five <laughs> electrons five ions yeah <laughs> so there you go yeah and so make sure to check out our podcast on this week's thanksgiving or make sure to check out our podcast on last week's uh five day uh thanksgiving event uh movies that we'll post uh check that out also and let us know what you think of snowman's do you like it as much as us it has a very ridiculously low imdb score i'm seeing this right here 5.5 which Uh, is just wrong you guys (laughs) you rise up (laughs) and and comment on imdb and make this get a proper score like it deserves yes i know we're giving it five stars so don't don't go by our scale on imdb double it double right because they have 10 out of 10 so yeah it was really really charming really fun so good job ion and everybody behind this one and uh yeah so we'll look forward to our next uh emergency podcast we'll let you know and if you have one that you've seen on the other networks that you love and you want us to talk about put in the comment section and we will uh we'll consider it yeah, it's probably already on my DVR, so. It probably is. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, Rachel, is there anything else that we could tell the kids about today? Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> um, could it possibly be these new swaggy t-shirts that we have for sale? <laughs> you always wanted to be a member of the Hallstar team. Go ahead, buy a t-shirt. We have these nice baseball team tees, and it says the Hallmark Hallstars. And it has a crown on it. We it are so excited about this. We are. You guys, we've been working on it really hard. And you'd be like, uh, it's not that great. No, I dare you. It's amazing. <laughs> so just go yes. to hallmarkiespodcast.com. So simple. You yeah. can order them right there. I think they ship within like a week. Yeah, pretty fast. We, we got our samples, uh, our, we, our test run. We got them pretty fast. Um, so. And they're, they're cozy. They're nice. <laughs> And uh, let me know if you want them in different styles, because we can make them in different styles. Yeah. And now that we know how to make t-shirts, you guys, the sky's yeah. the limit. Because one of the things that we first noticed when we were doing this podcast is that, like, Hallmark is very lax on merch. And so we decided that we needed to, to take that mantle upon us. I mean, so. we're t-shirt and shirt kind of people, so <laughs> I needed something to wear. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. Um. So... I mean, I hate to tell you guys this, but I really want to make a Paul Campbell t-shirt. Yes. So I just need to contact him, get his permission, and go. <laughs> oh, t-shirts. You will love them. And I was worried that they were going to be kind of small in size, because sometimes those type of shirts are, but they were fine. Like, no problems. Don't worry about yeah. that. They're just regular, like, adult sizing, so, and it's not mm-hmm. like ladies sizing. Sorry, ladies. I know we're <laughs> ladies, too, but it was baseball tees. You got to yeah. have a baseball tee for the Hallmark Hallstars. Yes. Hallmark Hallstars! <laughs> so, so we'll um, have all that information in the description section. Check it out and uh, let us know what you think. Yeah. Follow us. Make sure you're subscribed to us on uh, iTunes and YouTube and also following us on Instagram and Twitter at the various sites, Hallmarkies Pod. We post daily on all of those social medias. We'd love to hear from you. We love hearing from you. And uh, so where can people find you? 
Um, as always, people can find me. I'm at Amber Brainwaves on Twitter, and that's it. Awesome. So yeah, you can find me at Smiling LDS Girl on social media and at Rachel's Reviews on YouTube and iTunes. So check that out, and we'll have links for all that in the description section. And uh, thanks for this emergency session. Yes, thank you. We'll look forward to this <laughs> next emergency broker. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was. I don't know either. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. Bye, guys.